So welcome everyone to the Hounsville facility at the University of Nottingham at the Sutton Bonington campus. The Hounsville facility is basically quite a unique because it's been set up to use X-ray imaging for soil and plant applications. So there's there's lots of these um, in the lab. There's these are all CT systems, so they're industrial rather than your kind of standard medical computer tomography that you might be familiar with. It's got the kind of donut kind of shape and the bed that kind of goes in and out to take the images. So these systems, they're all kind of um, lead-lined cabinets with the X-ray source and um, detector panels inside them. We've got four systems here. So we've got a small one, two kind of medium scale ones, and then there's a really big scanner in the back there. And the size of the system relates to the size of the object that you want to scan. What we're going to do is use the X-ray imaging to be able to visualise where the soil is, where the pore space is, and where the roots are inside the sample. So all these scanners are roughly set up the same. There's, there's a way of generating the X-rays. So this system's actually got two X-ray sources in it. You only use one at a time, but the one on the bottom is for imaging smaller samples at higher resolution. The X-ray tube on the tops, when it's when we want to use bigger samples, we kind of rotate that down and we can generate more x-rays, kind of higher power for penetrating these larger samples like the soil cores for this one. Just in front there, there's like a rotation stage. That's where the sample will get held. And then in the back, there's a big flat panel detector. So now the x-rays are on, on the screen here, the detector's basically just recording how many x-rays have passed through the sample and how many has gone round about it. So you get a kind of suggestion of the column here. You can see some of the root uh, shoots coming out the top there. So when we set up the scan, what happens is we take an image like this and the sample just rotates round a little bit, takes another image, and it just continues doing that until it's moved round 360 degrees. And then our software is going to reconstruct that to be able to visualize what it looks inside. There's a bit of a kind of multi-stage process in collecting the images. First we do the scan, so that we get the images like this, and then we're going to do a process called reconstruction. We've got three cross-section views and then a sort of 3D view of the core. So this one is moving in from the, the top to the bottom, so you can see the plastic column the drain pipe and then as we move in the images are always this sort of variations and shades of grey so the, the darker regions are all your soil pores and then the brighter regions are higher density material 